Hello, today we unveil the top 10 middle class naked bikes for the season 2023. Hello, my name is Nils. I'm checking in from Austria. We had a fantastic motorcycle season this year. Together with my nine colleagues, we were able to gather a countless experiences for our 1000 PS magazine. And I'm already starting with position number 10. On position number 10 in this segment, we placed, we ranked the Aprilia Tono 660 factory. On position number 9, the KTM 890 Duke GP. The middle class, middleweight naked bike um, class for us starts from, let's say, 90, 100 horsepower and goes up to 120, 130 horsepower. Um, and all in all, we put together a list of 23 um, motorcycles that um, fit into this class. We also have ranked uh, other naked bikes uh, lists. So we have a, a, a naked bike list for the um, best budget naked bikes you can buy and top naked bikes up to 95 horsepower you can buy. Uh, and we have a an, an category above this category here. We also have a, a high performance um, power naked bike uh, top list. But let's go to this table. In this table, we have 22 motorcycles, bikes like Ducati Monster, Kawasaki Z900, BMW F900R, and so on. Also Yamaha MT09 MT is in this list. But let's go on with position number eight in our recommendation list. Um, in on position number eight, we have the Yamaha XSR900. For us, it was not clear, is it a naked bike, is it a retro bike, it's a good combination of both of them, of both of these categories. Um, and on position number seven, we have the Kawasaki Z900 RS SE. And on position number six, we have the Kawasaki Z900 SE. So this is quite a good example why it is tough for, for manufacturers with a lot of different motorcycles in the segment, because some of us recommended the Z900 SE, SE Others recommended the Z900 RS SE. And so Kawasaki split it, uh, their fan group in our, in our expert team into two, yeah, let's say three, four motorcycles. There are two other motorcycles on position number 16 and 17, for example, Kawasaki Z900 RS and Z900. So also these this bikes gained votes. Um, and so but it, the, the, the situation was the same for other manufacturers, also Triumph, Ducati, Yamaha, KTM, all these manufacturers have more than one motorcycle on the short list. And, um, but on, on, on position number one, there was quite a clear commitment to a motorcycle in a, by, from a brand that has a strong commitment to one, um, let's say, number one bike to a clear commitment. This is our best motorcycle in this, in this category. And so it was easy for the, um, for the experts to place their vote to the, to the top bike. How did the selection process of the 1000 PS top awards unfold? Our team of 10,000 PS motorcycle experts has amazed a wealth of experience, enabling us to evaluate our top 10 favorites in this category. We individually ranked our preferred motorcycles, assigning a one to our top choice, a two to our second favorite, and so forth. In this manner, we determined our most favorite bikes. At the conclusion of the process, we computed an average score based on all the rankings. We ranked our 1000 PS top awards across a total of 23 categories. Not all 10 experts participated in each category, as some of us have more off-road experience, while others lean towards track riding and so on. Nevertheless, we integrated a vast reservoir of expertise into every category. Consequently, we can really recommend these candidates to you. Behind this top 10 list lies the collective knowledge of our 1000 PS editorial team. And thank you for your trust. Let's go on to position number five. Um, there we, we frank the Triumph Street Triple R. And on position number four, we have the KTM 890 Duke R. And on position number three, we, we ranked uh, to position number three, we ranked the Yamaha MT09 SP. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's have a closer look to the, look to the into the ranking table. Um, it was it was quite a clear it was quite a clear scoring process for us. Uh, of course, there were some let's say some kind of fans or some some kind of um, yeah some kind of fans that that like Triumph, others like Ducati, other ones like KTM, other ones like Yamaha. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, position number one uh, gained five number one votes, three number three votes and two number two, uh, no, one number two votes. And there was just one editor who didn't uh, rank the number one bike, bike into his top 10 list. So that was quite a clear commitment from us and quite a clear, um, uh, it's quite a clear result. And maybe it was, yeah, it was a, a little bit close from position number six to position number 10, but position number one was quite a clear, uh, is quite a clear result. Let's go on to position number two. In position number two, uh, we have ranked the Ducati Monster SP. For this class, it's quite an expensive motorcycle, but at the end of the day, it was okay for us to put also the top bikes into this um, uh, middle class naked bike segment because we didn't we didn't had had a look into the on, on the price tag we just had a look on the engine on the engine power and so for us it was okay to rank the Ducati Monster SP in this uh, middle class naked bike segment and also on position number 1 there's quite a yeah, quite a high priced motorcycle but in terms of um, cubic capacity and engine power, for us it's still a middleweight naked bike. Um, and so for us it was fine to place it and to rank it on number one. I founded 1000 PS in the year 2001 and since then we've risen to become the premium motorcycle content producer worldwide. Our achievements include a vast archive of over 5,000 videos on our German language YouTube channel. Moreover, a staggering 1,600 European websites place their trust in 1000 PS motorcycles content, seamlessly integrating it into their online platforms. With a dedicated team of 35 permanent employees spanning IT, sales, editorial and video production, we not only craft websites for motorcycle dealers, but also operate high-impact marketplaces and we are running several media platforms for motorcycle riders all over the planet. Excitingly, we are currently unveiling our latest venture on 1000ps.com. Here, we will be presenting all our motorcycle tests in a grand total of 11 languages, but now we are looking forward to position number one in our 1000ps top award list. Uh, and number one was is for us the Triumph Street Triple RS. It, to be honest, it was also my personal favorite. I really enjoyed this bike on the track and on the road because the, the Street Triple RS is a, has a really powerful engine, great suspension, impressive brakes, comprehensive electronics, and it's uh, it has a top-notch quality all in all, and even. Even due to the fact that the price is quite high, if you have a look at the components and have a look at the, at the performance of the motorcycle, it's okay. It's, the, the price is fine at the end of the day. No, uh, no bad words about it. Uh, but had, let's have a look um, um, onto the, yeah, let's say, negative, small negative points. Um, the display is not, maybe not perfect. Uh, you cannot really read it clear under all conditions. But yeah, it was it was quite a, a small negative point. Maybe for tall pilots, they need um, the um, the higher seats on it because for tall pilots, the knee angle is quite narrow. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm 184 centimeters high, and also for me, the street triple is was the was the the best choice. Um, the engine provides 130 horsepower, 80 newton meters of torque out of the three-cylinder 765cc engine. Thank you for your interest and we really appreciate your support through a subscription to our YouTube channel. Uh, your support means a lot to us, it's the fuel for our engagement here on this channel. But there is a really important question at the end of the video. What do you think?
about this ranking. Is the ranking fine for you? What are your, yeah, let's say, top three bikes in this category? Place your comment below this video. Thank you very much. See you on 1000 PSTV.